All right, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a great pleasure um, for me to share some of the uh, uh, information about the traditional Chinese medicine with everybody very briefly today because we only have um, 10 minutes to talk. To be honest, I don't know how deep I should go because it's a huge um, medical theory, but what I could do is, um, by my understanding, and I would make good use of the 10 minutes of time to give you as much as I can. But after 10 minutes, if you think you have some questions and you want to know more about what I said, so and you feel free to ask me. Uh, usually, well, my assumption, huh, usually the people coming here for, the int uh, for this seminar would be uh, the people maybe who are just thinking about uh, it is time to change the career. So they want to know something different. Uh, or maybe the people who already practice and they want to expand their practice by integrating a new therapeutic model into their own practice. So their magic hands can become stronger to heal people even better. Or maybe some people who uh, just think, OK, it is a good time for me to look into my own health, and they want to know more medical philosophies. Apart from just the Western medical uh, philosophy they grew up with, they already know. So I don't know what is the reason uh, to um, bring you here. But anyway, uh, we are here. We, brought, uh, we are brought here by some of the reasons, and uh, it's a good chance to share, to, to talk, and to meet um, everybody. And what I, can, uh, I believe is you won't feel regretful for being here today. Anyway, so let me back to the point. What are the Chinese herbal medicine? So Chinese herbal medicine is the major part, major component of the traditional Chinese medicine, which was the only therapy the Oriental people, or obviously Chinese or Asian people, uh, had been relied on for years and years, generations and generations. That was the only therapy available uh, to maintain their health, to improve their health beings, uh, well-beings. Until three or four hundred years ago, when the Western medicine um, theory or medical model started to have an uh, influence on the oriental world. Before that, that's the only therapy we rely on. Uh, it is originated in China, but was very quickly and fast, widely accepted by the whole oriental world. And um, I have to say, it has a very big impact on the oriental world. And uh, I would say the Asian people has been experienced and the used and the respect uh, and the rely on it. It has a very, very long development history, probably for about more than 5,000 years uh, development history. So I have to say it is a very reliable, solid, and a mature medical model. And being one part, oh, sorry. sorry. What are the major differences between the WM and the TCM? Probably those are the main things you want, to, you want to know, huh? So from my point of view, I'm the TCM practitioner. TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. WM means the um, Western medicine. From my point of view, I have to say, in WM, the targeted object are disease, whatever problem you have. However, for the... Um, TCM practitioner, our targeted object are people, human body. And the WM practitioner treating disease, and the TCM practitioner, we adjust in balance. I know maybe it's too broad. And uh, after I talk, after 10 minutes, probably if you have more questions, you can ask me in details. Huh? And also, WM treat disease, for example, with uh, surgery or medications, 
and the TCM practitioner adjust or reset body balance with uh, acupuncture or Chinese herbal medicine, Chinese herbal medicine, or Qigong, or uh, Tina therapy, or even life coaching. Life coaching, that's quite t- new terms. Uh-huh. And the WM practitioner treating the disease with the reference to the diagnosis, disease diagnosis, suggested by the laboratory test result. For example, your hemoglobin, how high, how low, huh? and what was your diagnosis. However, for TCM practitioner, we reset body's balance with a reference to our TCM assessment results. So TCM and WM, we quite different medical model. We use a completely different language. And maybe in the beginning, usually for the beginner students, it's hard to transfer. We use, sometimes we have the term overlaps, but we, div- we have a different uh, scale, scope of each term. And also WM focusing on reducing the symptoms. And the TCM, we handle both of the uh, prevention of the imbalance and also reduction of the symptoms. So there are more, than, uh, there are more, more difference than this. Uh, but that's just roughly coming out from my mind. Huh? Chinese herbal medicine being one therapy of the whole holistic medical model, it represents the TCM holistic treatment principles, and also it reflects TCM souls. I have to say that all the Chinese herbal medicine information coming from the long-time observation of the clinical uh, practice experience, and it has very big range of the source. For example, I have to say uh, the TCM herbal medicine covers nearly 6,000 individual herbs. And the range of the collections of herbs are very, very wide. Just give you an example, we say Xue Lian. I'm not sure how many people know that there's a piece of flowers which uh, is one part of one of Chinese herbs. They're working quite well to um, boost your kidney. And in the, in the WM terms, they give you very good uh, support and the boost to your adrenal gland. So that piece of herb, piece of flowers, is collected from the top of the ice mountains in Tibet. So it's really hard. And also, one piece of Rinshen, I didn't have it today, but it's the uh, quite well-known herbs which tonify your energy, make you feel you more energetic. One piece of Rinshen herb, the age could be more than 1,000 years old. So people keep it, let them grow, let them grow on the, on the mountains huh, to receive the energies, great energy from the natural world. So they grow for 1,000 years old, and we take it and we process it as a herb. So, and oh, that, that's one of the examples. The other example is, so we say they can be insect, cicada. The cicada can be the Chinese herbs. So what are the action? They can stop you itching. They can treat a lot of dermatitis. And uh, the shell of turtle, they can be one piece of Chinese herbs and the shell of oyster, and a piece of tiger bone, and the white part of spring onion, ginger. So they can be so far away, you can't get it. And they can be so close, so handy. You can have it at any time if you need. So it has very big range. So after the herbs are collected, so what my point is, the herbal medicine doesn't only miss the plants. It's much wider range than just the plants. So after the herbs are collected, 
and they will be processed in the professional ways. And then they become what you can see here. So those are the Chinese herbs, that how it look like. So you can see it or get available in the Chinese herbal shop, even in Auckland, in New Zealand. 